American Council of the Blind logo, Treasurer's Report, David Trott, Talladega, Alabama. American Council of the Blind Treasurer's Report Narrative from the 2021 Audited Financial Statements. 2021 Surplus, $454,984. ACB's revenue was $1,476,620. Revenue was about $274,000, I'm sorry, $247,300 above budget. ACB used various communications channels in 2021 to help us reach a wider audience, leading to 60 for 60 campaign, a fund, and MMS being successful. Revenue from these projects was $178,900. ACB implemented a strategic communications plan in 2021 along with an editorial calendar. ACB Radio was rebranded as the ACB Media Network with significant focus on podcast distribution of ACB's programs and streaming over Alexa-enabled devices. ACB Media provided support for many of our affiliates. Conventions for community events using ACB Media Channel 5 which ran 25 unique events each week and provided recorded podcasts for on-demand listening. Individuals and affiliates showed their appreciation for these services by donating $19,000. The two virtual ADP institutes were successful. Participants received instructions in audio description and then completed a group project during the breakout Sessions. Revenue was $36,000. Expenses were $8,700, and the net was $27,300. The audio description gala was introduced in 2021 to raise funds to support ACB's audio description project, ADP, and honor the significant achievements in media as well as to recognize the best of television, streaming, and film industries uh, commitment to accessible media for the blind and low vision audience. Gala revenue was $66,200. Expenses were $27,100, and the net was $39,100. The audio description project held descriptathons 6 and 7, which promoted accessibility of audio description in the national parks. And this was completed in partnership with the National Park Service and the University of Hawaii. The scholarship program provided over $97,000 in scholarships to 24 students, with the scholarships ranging from $500 to $7,500. ACB partnered with several affiliate organizations and the American Foundation for the Blind, AFB, to offer these educational scholarships. Other award programs, such as J.P. Morgan Chase Leadership Fellows and the DKM First Timer Awards, fostered future leaders through mentoring, training, and peer development. The legislative seminar was held virtually for the first time in 2021, allowing for many individuals the opportunity to participate, whether it was by attending just one seminar or many throughout the session. It also allowed for more individuals to advocate by being able to set up virtual meetings at the national level. Revenue was $24,500. Membership increased over the previous year with growth in individual membership and special interest affiliates. While state affiliates struggled during the pandemic, 2021 membership revenue was $49,800, providing community events, offering membership 
discounts and building connections with our community. Helped mem member engagement. ACB worked to strengthen state and special interest affiliates through one-on-one <clears throat> -on -one support, formalized training, and daily activities held by Zoom throughout ACB's community platform. Volunteer leaders learned how to host and manage over 4,200 community events, ranging from social to educational, peer support, and topic-driven. In 2021, members contributed more than 42,000 volunteer hours. Many of ACB's fundraising activities far exceeded expectations, including convention, auction, holiday auction, the Brenda Dillon Memorial Walk, mini mall sales, and the Braille Forum Raffle. Holding the auctions virtually gave many individuals the opportunity to participate, which led to a significant increase over prior years. Revenue for the fundraisers was $194,000. Expenses were $33,600 with a net of $160,400. Dividend income was $102,000, which exceeded the budget by $29,000. ACB advocated expanding health care protections, and access for the COVID-19 vaccine uh, testing. Increasing access to accessible absentee voting, advocated for greater availability of audio description video content, and promoting pedestrian safety through the installation of accessible pedestrian signals. The process for this advocacy work were $59,000. The first PPP loan was to ACB for 2020, was forgiven in 2021, resulting in a budget recognition in 2021. In 2021, ACB applied for employee retention credit to receive a refund for some of the employees' taxes that were paid in 2020. ACB recognized $52,600 in 2021 when the application was made. ACB's expenses was $1,858,281. Actual expenses were $96,400 below budget. Wages and benefits were $1,026,700 in 2021. There were three staff positions added. The manager of communications, the audio description coordinator and grant writer, and membership services administrative assistant. The manager of communications position was essential to using to unifying ACB's branding and messaging of all internal and external ACB communications. The grant writer contract position was converted to an ACB staff position with the added responsibility of coordinating the needs of the audio description project. ACB received grants in 2021 from the National Park Service, Delta Gamma Foundation, Washington Aid Association, the Gibney Foundation, and the and Google for audio describing national parks. The Membership Services Administration a stated assistant position was possible because of a grant ACB received, and this person was instrumental in providing oversight of the 
community event schedule, and membership support. ACB's website environment received a long overdue upgrade, and the location where the data was stored moved to Microsoft's cloud, which is Azure. The ADP's website started a much needed redesign, and this will be completed in 2022. Actual expenses were $66,000. The budget was 50100 There was an opportunity. There was an operations deficit of $381,660. Thrift stores income was $368,400. The coronavirus continued to have a economic impact on retail in 2021. While the thrift store's con contribution was slightly below budget, the store's employees and managers did a great job providing customer service while ensuring the health and safety for everyone. The thrift stores also applied for the employee retention credit and 80 $2,600 was recognized in 2021. The first PPP loan for the thrift stores was forgiven, so the revenue was recognized in 2021. Convention profit was $249,900. There were over 150 workshops, seminars, and business meetings held throughout the convention where individuals participated by attending sessions live or listening later by podcast. There was a virtual exhibit hall and many virtual tours for registrants to attend. Once again, attendees saw the value of, the AC, of ACB providing and supported ACB by becoming individual sponsors. Individual sponsorships came to $28,100, an increase of 44% over the last year. Corporate sponsors were $282,000, and they increased almost 22% over 2020. There were 12 corporate sponsors who continued to sponsor ACB's convention since 2016, and four new sponsors were added in 2021. This was also the first time all members had the opportunity to participate in elections. During the business meeting, each member was provided with a unique voter code, and members were able to vote using their cell phones, computers, tablets, or landline phone. Utilize unrealized gains of ACB's investments was 218,345. ACB's investment portfolio was $5,500,000 in December 2021, and the value of your investment increased $477,500. The rate of return on our investments ranges from 9.48% to 11.65%, which is where the funds should be based on their risk level. ACB's investments are in three different accounts. The value of each account's investment were the legacy fund, $2,058,000. Each year, the board approves a portion of these funds to be used to meet operating expenses for the following year. The endowed funds were $1,545,700. Portions of these funds are used for scholarships each year. The reserve fund 
was $1,896,300, and these funds need board approval to be withdrawn. If you would like to have additional information pertaining to the financial statements, please contact David Trott, ACB Treasurer. A logo, ACB, in print and braille, American Council of the Blind, together for a bright future.